We start with your sales knowledge. Using the Azure Blob Storage Source Connector, we read these markdown documents into the Kafka, Kafka topic called Messages Prospect. Then we create embeddings, basically turning words into huge vectors that capture their meaning. We use Azure's OpenAI uh, Text Embedding Ada 2 model for this. Now that our large language models were all set up and deployed in Azure, we're ready to start processing documents for vector search. So Confluent Cloud has a cool feature called Flink Actions that allows us to do transformations on our data, including creating embeddings. So if I hop over to the data portal and I find my original topic where we drop the documents, the, just the raw documents in, I can then click this button that says Actions. And from here, I can choose to transform my data. And one of these options is Create Embeddings. From here, I just choose which, which column I want to create embeddings from. We're gonna do, of course, our document text. We have an output topic that we'll create. We'll create a new model here. We'll call it OpenAI2. We'll use Azure OpenAI, and we can even enable chunking of our documents. From there, all we have to do is show SQL, and we can grab that SQL that will create these embeddings for us. From here, we want to send those to a vector database. And for that, we're gonna use a MongoDB Atlas sync connector. And what this allows us to do is to create essentially an external table within Flink that we can reference and that we can pass its values in in the next step when we ultimately do a vector search. And so you set up an API key and you connect to this. It's very easy. You simply specify the uh, collection name and the database name you're using. In my case, it's knowledge db and knowledge and then you load your documents and here they are we have gotten the data into those embeddings right and then we use ml predict here to actually call the embeddings uh, to have those created next we create the message prospect rag results table here we actually are doing the vector search you'll see that we have vector search right here in the sql statement the final step in our process that involves the LLM is we're gonna use GPT-4 Omini to, and we're gonna pass it in all of the contacts that we just uh, retrieved through this vector search. We do it with this statement. So that gives you a pretty good sense of sort of how we call these functions in Azure OpenAI to do the embedding and to do the ultimate uh, inference at the end that's contextually aware, that's grounded in your documents,